Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. And what we've seen there is oil prices slipping back again after the Kuwait uh, oil strike has now come to an end. All the workers there have, uh, have reached a deal with the local, uh, the local firms and uh, res resumption of work there is now beginning. Now we've actually had a selection of other um, US earnings that, that, that came out. You had Intel last night, they're gonna cut 10% of their workforce, 12,000 people gonna be losing their jobs there. Share price dipped down about 3%. And you had Netflix and IBM uh, after the bell, just the share price is absolutely getting tanked. Uh, with Netflix in particular, it's due to a, a reduction in subscriber numbers and uh, it's quite a significant uh, decrease. Normally they have about 3 million, 3.5 million, uh, it came in about um, 2 million. Uh, so that, that stock taking a little, a little bit of a tumble uh, and after, uh, after trade hours. So that gives you a bit of an idea as to the, kind of the current state of things. We have a number of other big high profile um, stocks gonna be reporting later on today. Um, a lot of banking stocks had been um, reporting yesterday as well and they've also um, come out with results that have not been so uh, so strong, but they weren't as bad as what some analysts were, were predicting. So actually yesterday you had a number of these other uh, US banking stocks slowly creeping up. You had Goldman Sachs, for example, coming in with their results a little bit under expectations for revenue, but they beat with earnings per share. Now most, most global indices has come off ever so slightly uh, from those, those gains that we saw there yesterday. And when we look at the US 30, you'll see that it broke through potential resistance and has then just come down ever so slightly right down and retraced back down to the broken resistance now potentially acting as support. But let's go ahead and have a look at the US 30 to kickstart things off. Okay, so this is currently where we are. We have 85% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. As you can see there, we had our breakout there on Tuesday and we've just reversed that a little bit down so far this morning. If I just jump a little bit onto my five minute charts, let's have a look at that in more, in more detail. You can see it pretty much is bang on hit that level twice. Uh, been slowly drifting down, uh, maybe curving ever so slightly as it, as it gets closer. So it'll be very interesting to see if 17977 um, forms a more of a base for a potential uh, move that little bit higher, or if it's gonna break back through that potential support and work its way back towards 17847. So very, very interesting. Moving on to the UK 100, uh, you can see we had a fantastic day yesterday, a bit of a strong reversal today. We're in the middle of two ranges, 63.23 as potential support and 64.53 as potential resistance with 80% of CMC market clients currently short. Looking at the Japan 225, uh, you can see we had the breakout yesterday, reversal this morning, it's bounced off 16.896 and uh, it's currently pretty much sitting bang on that level right now. The, the technicals are relatively neutral. Uh, and uh, some of that is due to the, to the Japanese yen uh, getting a bit more strength. As you see, this is dollar yen. Uh, we had the dollar increase uh, a little bit the last two days, uh, and it's kind of reversed ever so slightly this morning. We are still in the middle of two ranges. Dollar yen is not really that exciting. We are making a pattern of lower highs though, if you look at these three candles right here. Um, but we are in the middle of two ranges, 110 and 107 spot 67. Moving quickly on to uh, crude oil West Texas, and you can see there, once the news came out about that QA oil strike ending, uh, we did quickly reverse any, not completely all the gains, but uh, it certainly has provided a little bit of dark cloud cover on here. These tips of these candles here are indicative of selling interest. Each time we get above 40 spot 80, uh, there is a uh, selling interest around here, and we're firmly on the wrong side of that potential uh, resistance slash support right now. The next potential support being down here, that 21 period SMA, or perhaps that little bit lower. Um, but depends if there is any production freeze elements. This is gonna be ongoing for quite some time, um, but it's definitely gonna be volatile, so just uh, be careful out there. And uh, for those of you that are trading gold, I had a fantastic day yesterday. Uh, it's gonna reverse a little bit this morning again, kind of doji formation this morning, still directionless, making a kind of a pattern of lower highs. Um, we really wanna see either a break of this neckline area right here, uh, or, or a break above the tips of these candles before we get some more directional moves. I'm finishing up with your dollar and GBP USD. So your dollar uh, having itself a good day uh, yesterday. The dollar kind of rolling back. Uh, I think GBP USD also still making some gains. Decent day yesterday. Off the session highs though, a little bit further ahead this morning, uh, but not that much conviction. 84% of CMC market clients are currently short, so they're obviously hoping that this potential resistance remains intact. And then we finish up with GBP USD. Uh, oh God, it's had a fantastic run, stopping just shy of that potential sloping resistance level 
and the question is, can it go ahead and break through? 79% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long, so they're hoping that it can. But right now, this is still trading within the triangle. And uh, we're looking at if this, if this level obviously ends up holding, you might end up getting a drift back down towards one spot 40, 80. Otherwise, a break above here could open up one spot 46. Now, let's finish up very quickly with the market calendar. What well, is still due today? Uh, we've got uh, employment data, existing home sales, and oil petroleum data. And then tomorrow we have retail sales in the UK, the interest rate announcement from the EZB, employment data, and CCI. And then on Friday, we do have Japanese data for PMI, German PMI, and Eurozone PMI as well. Well, guys, that's it for me. Very good luck with your trading. Join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.